Hi to guys and dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1,188 1, of my ketogenic journey and the end of week 170, beginning of week 171. That's a long daggone time to adhere to a diet. Now, I'm not always perfect. God knows y'all have seen that lately. Anyway, guys and dolls, I'm going to show you what I ate. And since it's the weekly review, I'll stand up, show you my full body. We'll do a, a, a weekly weigh-in graph, and I'll show you everything. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave Keto Diamond style right after you like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. Give us some hell. <laughs> Special thank you to our YouTube members and our Patreons. Please consider becoming one or the other. Uh, it helps support the channel. It's a lot of fun. I upload non-keto videos, early release wise, and some extra fun special content here and there. Uh, check it out and thank you to these ladies. I met hubby for lunch up here his job. I'm having a Baconator with no bun. All right, so yesterday I had two eggs and three better with cheddars. I accidentally deleted it. I'm also having that again today. And this egg and this is, some of this is Athena and Anthony's. Chocolate chip cookie dough, good fats bar. Tonight I'm having ribs and I've, I've got, what is it? Rufus Teague's zero sugar barbecue sauce on it. And I've got a small side salad. Hey guys, for some reason this just wants to be blurry, but calories and macros for yesterday 2,108 calories, 54 grams of total carbohydrates, and I'm not super worried about that because most of them came from the Good Fats Bar and my Stevia packets for my coffee, 159 grams of fat, 132 grams of protein. Some of that protein didn't count because it came from uh, pork skins, which are incomplete protein. All in all, it's not a bad day. It's not the best day I wanted. Oh, there is one thing listed you guys did not see, but it is in my calories and macros, um, is... Um, some pork skins and some Tostino's cheese dip. Now I did finally throw that cheese dip away today because I realized it didn't really benefit me. All right, so a good chunk of this video is filmed in the house, but before we get there, gotta go here. Thought I'd tell you a funny story while we're sitting here waiting to pick up Zach. Yeah, yesterday, my young and my daughter Corey, she almost got beat by me in food line. For being honest. For being honest. Oh. I just hate that she was right. Anyway, um, my mom sent me to get several things, including something called Chow Chow. Now, I know most people will know who what that is here, but um, I didn't think that the younger people who worked at Walmart Food Line would know what Chow Chow was. So I didn't bother asking them. I walked around and asked a couple old men. And my daughter looked at me funny. Why don't you just ask an employee? Because I don't think these youngins would know what Chow Chow is. Well, anyway. And I don't mean the dog food for anybody who is young here. Now, um, so I asked this older guy with his his grand youngin, um, who was sitting in like one of the little power skaters, gray beard and all this, you know, uh, if he knew where the chow chow was. And both of them, you know, told me probably on the pickle aisle and all that. And I was like, yeah, but it wasn't there. We went look real good. So anyway, I told Corey, you know, I was asking the older people, the old people, because I didn't think youngins would know what it is. She said, Mom. He's your age. Corey, that's an old man. Yep, he's your age. Corey, his beard is gray. So's dad's. Shut up, Corey. He had his grandkid with him. She said, oh, you mean the grandkid that's the same age as Zach? You have lost the ability and right to speak within my presence. Walk away, child. Huh. And, and I got to looking at the old fella. Yeah, he's probably about my age. <laughs> it was like, oh, no, when did that happen? But it is what it is, right, folks? By the way, hubby Mr. K Mr. Katie's sitting here thinking, thanks. Hey, y'all. Thanks, hun. Thanks. Um, but, yeah, wow. <laughs> she said he probably just has more health problems. And he had, like, you know, some oxygen and stuff going on, which is completely feasible for people our age, isn't it? Anyway... Yesterday's day of eating, after coming off 
of that whole week long adventure with a five days adventure we took uh, for our vacation and the Halloween cheat where is I got to the candy and, and, and the yummies and the good stuff um, I tried really hard to stay strict keto now I realize some of the stuff that I've been doing over the last few days even not cheating isn't really great keto like the Tostitos cheese dip which I did have yesterday and I finally tossed it in the garbage because I realized it wasn't benefiting me and like an hour later later Destiny asked Brian to put some of the Tostitos cheese on his uh, on her sandwich or her wrap or whatever which would probably work out fine for her and Corey I was like damn I threw that away because mm, I didn't know anybody else was eating it I had bought it and and I had actually bought a large container of it, then a smaller container of it. And I was like, this is really not good for my ketogenic journey. So I tossed it so that I wouldn't be tempted to use it anymore. Um, <laughs> and also, I know that that ranch probably isn't benefiting me either. And for some reason, those little bacon bits, every time I put them on my salad, they don't see, my weight doesn't seem to drop. Now, I'm not going to say these things are super bad because I did go down. And, and you'll see that in just a minute. I'm going to stand up, show you my whole body, show you my whiteboard and all that. But I, I did go down. But I didn't get a lot of sleep and everything. That, that time change thing had me sleepy as everything <clears throat> early in the evening. What? What? Time change didn't mess with me one bit. It didn't? Nope. Oh, <laughs> hubby went to work an hour early yesterday. <laughs> Good job, honey. At least he wasn't late. I got plenty of game time. He, he sat there in the car time. playing his game and a little bit of overtime, yeah. So, <laughs> rock on with that. Extra hours. Well, anyway, whatever, right? So, um, that, that's really cool. That's, that's, that's neat. Um, but the, the, the time change messed with me to where I was sleepy much earlier. And of course, all day it felt later because technically it still really was. Um, and by 10 o'clock last night, I was like, I'm falling out. I can't hardly see straight. And for some reason, I got myself in that bed. Let me tell you what happened. Nothing. I ain't sleep none. <laughs> yeah, you were bugging the hell out of me, wasn't you? Using violence as a response. I tapped you. It's a love tap. That's not violence. Camera's on. I can't show you a love tap. It's perverted. That's violence. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. <laughs> Stick my finger and touch his nose. He's fine. We've been married for a long time. That's my back for today. <laughs> that's your back. <laughs> anyway, guys and dolls, I think it's time to stand up and show you my body. And then I'll tell you about Corey's way in and it's stuff hard later. I already recorded all that. I was preemptive. I have to be preemptive if I'm gonna stand up because you know I gotta be in a place where I... here's the rest of the video. Alright you guys, I'm gonna show you my body for week 170 or the end of week 170. Not much has changed obviously. Holding a lot of water, but this is me. And I'm wearing furry prints because he's cold today. Good morning, you guys. It's cold today. One sixty-five point two. I thought it would drop a lot more than that with all the peeing I was doing yesterday. It was a lot. Well, da da da. da. All right. So end of week one hundred and seventy. It is November second, two thousand and twenty. Cheers. Ending fast. I tell you what. My mom wanted it to be over so bad. She's already gave me, she gave me my birthday card yesterday and my money like uh, the day before or something like that. So she said like, hurry this year along. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> but anyway, um, so birthday's not till November 8th, but still she gave it to me. So it was cool. Uh, week 170, start weight 311.8 pounds. If you're new here, go back and watch my first video. I'll pop it up in the half where you can find it. Uh, it's, I, I'll just pop the whole weekly playlist and it'll start with my very first ever keto video. Um, last week, I think when I first got home and got on the scale, it was 169.8. That was getting home from a five-day vacation. That was wonderful, tiring, beautiful, scary, <laughs> and uh, I ate whatever I wanted to. Mm, so if you're new to me. Uh, this week, I weighed in at 165.2. It's down 4.6 pounds, which sounds great, but I'm still holding a lot of water. So overall, I've lost 155.4 pounds, uh, over 200 inches off my body. 
but again, I'm holding a ton of water weight because my lowest weigh in, which I saw last on the 15th of October and it is November the 2nd. So it's been over half a month since I've saw my lowest, which was 156.4. All right, so on Monday, 169.8. Tuesday, 157.2. Wednesday, 164. Thursday, 163.4, so I was doing great getting rid of the water weight. Shot up just a little bit, can't remember exactly why, but it was 164.4. And then uh, 164 again, but that was Halloween. So the next morning, 158, 168, sorry, 168.8. All week, it was in the 160s. If I said 150-something, it was 160-something. Um, 165.8 yesterday, 165.2 today, so 0 0.8 down. Ah, let's finish the video. <laughs> I'll go ahead and record this clip in, ca in case Corey doesn't weigh in. Uh, because she was in the house earlier, already weighed in in front of me, and I forgot her weigh in. I don't. Do you know what it is? Yep. What was her weigh in? 308.4. 308.4. Yes, she said she went down 0 0.6. She was 3.9. 309 yesterday. 308.4 today. She went down 0 0.6. Yay, go girl, and she was hardcore keto yesterday too. So we both did our share of messing up on Halloween. Of course, I did my share of messing up all throughout last week pretty much. Um, but keto is an interesting thing. It's ne I've never tried something before where I thought, well, it's okay, make your next meal keto and keep on going. Make your next meal that and keep on going. Usually, I mean, if I would try to work out or something, if I missed a day, I was like, well, screw it, why bother now? Uh, whatever I, I might as well quit if I missed just one day or did just one thing I shouldn't do but not with keto with keto my brain goes just start again now uh, yeah you messed up but shake it off and keep on going and that's that's what I live by uh, again my journey has not been perfect by a million miles but it's been consistent and that's all you can really ask of yourself don't be so hard on yourself there's no need to be we all are just human beings. We will all mess up. We will all miss a day. We will all um, have occasional overeatings. We will all have occasional binges. No matter how much we try, we're not perfect human beings. So we're going to fail once in a while. But you only truly fail when there's no air left in your body and you can no longer try again. So dust yourself off. Keep on going. Disagree. You disagree? I'm perfect. You're perfect. Oh, hell. I'd tell you all the ways he's not perfect, but I love him. And my birthday's coming up. So. <laughs> I haven't even earned my $2 for the year yet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hope they don't know where the joke's from. I but do. I know You're you definitely do. right. I've earned two, maybe three or $4 for the year. If you know where that joke's from, let me know. Uh, <laughs> if you know what it means, let me know politely below. Um, I think it'll be funny. Uh, okay, so have you dusted yourself off and made your next meal keto yet? Have you done it? And if you're new to keto, have you tried it for a day fully yet? When I first started, when I first heard about it, I was like, okay, let me try this. Let me just go over to the kitchen and see if I can find things that are low carb. And I made my first meal keto. I made my next meal keto, and then my next, and then my next, and then my next, and it turned out it wasn't that hard, and it worked out for me. And 155 pounds later, you guys have me, Keto Diamond, who thinks she is the shiznit for real. You're in uh, my own mind, nobody else. That's good. right. Good in my mind, too. All right, Redneck Mobile. Um, <laughs> I don't mind it. I'd take it. Huh? All that diesel. Yeah, I'd take it. But not a diesel, really, because that one in the mountain sounded just like somebody was using a saw to... It sounded terrible. It don't sound like it inside the cab. It might not sound like it inside the cab, but outside, I was looking for to see who was building a house in the middle of the damn mountains. But you got to remember, the price of diesel ain't like it used to be. Yeah, I know, right? The price of diesel used to be like trash. And now it's... Now it's like gold. Gold, yeah. Huh. But anyway... So that's our update, and if, if Corey decides to weigh in, you won't see this little clip here, but if she doesn't, you will see this clip instead. So, uh, I, like I said, she had Anthony. She was in the house earlier. He wanted a nap. She took him outside. He's a wild one today. Well, he's a wild one every day. Um, I'm not saying. Anyway. Right, wild. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway, don't forget, if you need help with your ketogenic journey, 
I help everybody for free. I have a website, ketodiamond.com. Everything's written out plain, simple, and free, including the beginner's guide, foods list. There's a playlist on the front of this channel that tells you all the stuff that's over on the website. And my contact information is below. Sure DiamondBBW at gmail.com. Make sure y'all drop in and say, hey, hubby. And, yeah, say hey to hubby. Um, hey, hubby. No, kidding. I'm not joking. Hit the comment section. Um, say hey to me, too. Um, all right. There's another video coming up probably tomorrow. Um, I'll early release it for the Patreons and the PayPal's today. Uh, the Patreons and the um, YouTubers today. YouTube members today. Um, much love. Many prayers. There's ways to support the channel in the description below. Shashka bracelets. Keto Mojo. 15% off. All that good stuff. Much love. Many prayers. Bye. Stay safe.